And of course, a bumper crop is just m those words so magical to farmers everywhere. So very good to see that right now. We mm -hmm. are sitting pretty for the most part. You know what else is sitting pretty right now? Lakeland College's women's soccer team after four right. games, ACAC season. They're sitting on top of the South Division. Not bad so far. No, and what's even better is that the wrestlers have been so impressive and uh, they've done it by scoring a lot of goals. 14, in fact, this season, and it's a pair of rookies leading the way. Right, and then skipping a ball. When Coach yeah. Kevin Wagner was asked if he knew about the immediate impact Lisa Agam and Kaylee Weber would bring, his answer was simple. Yeah. Through four games, the freshman pair have scored 86% of the team's goals. To Coach Wagner, it's part and parcel with the job up front. In my opinion, it was expected, um, and, and I think it's fairly... Uh, you know, fair as far as, as what their output has been. They've met expectations. The coach expected this impact, but did the players? Not one bit at all. I was kind of nervous, and then after a couple games, I just kind of started playing. The potential that we have and the individual skill that each person brings to the team, we were going to come out strong. So what has been their key to success? Well, for Weber, the Lloydminster product spent time playing at the Canada Summer Games in Sherbrooke against some stiff competition. The pace is a lot faster than it is in like at this level of college, I guess. So coming into college games, I guess I'm able to play at the speed of the game without having too much trouble. And for Agam, the Saskatoon native says she feeds off her teammates. I honestly think it's like the girls I'm playing with and just like their talent and like they're obviously setting me up. It's not like I'm not getting them by myself. I think it's the girls I'm playing with. Speed and chemistry, just two key ingredients as to why these two ladies have enjoyed so much success in a short amount of time. I think me and Kaylee work really well together. We both always usually just like know where each other are. We play tic-tac-toe up the field, uh, give and goes. We kind of know each other's I guess, playing styles, so we, we definitely feed off it. We're dependent on them to have success. We now just have to get to a point where it's not just those two that are scoring. And that starts Saturday against the perennial favorites from Red Deer College. A critical game for us uh, to, to start to see um, if indeed we are uh, one of the, the top couple clubs or uh, in programs or uh, you know with, with where we sit. Their reputation um, is that they're always going to be a competing and, and quality squad. We're just going to have to go in, stay focused, play to feet, play to our strengths for sure and hopefully we'll get uh, another three points. Play the game that we know how to play, play to our strengths and stay mentally tough throughout the game. The ladies kick off tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock at the VLA Soccer Grounds. All right, let's move on to hockey. At 15 years, 3 months and 15 days, Lloydminster's Kale Clegg is the youngest player on the active WHL roster. Tonight, he makes his debut with the Brandon Wheat Kings when they take on the Moose Jaw Warriors. The fifth overall pick in May's Bantam Draft is turning some heads, notching five points in four preseason games, including the guy who drafted him, head coach and general manager, Kelly McCrimmon. It's been uh, great since day one of camp, right from uh, our rookie camp, moving on into main camp. and. Then when we got to the, the preseason, I thought he, uh, you know, continued to uh, uh, improve. Perfect timing for Clegg with players out due to injuries or at the NHL camps. The defenseman is penciled in for the first two games of the season. Fifteen-year-old uh, uh, players for five games, and with uh, uh, some of the guys out of our lineup right now, we thought that uh, this weekend would be uh, the best time to get started. All right, Friday night football tonight, Border City style. The top two teams in the league, St. Paul versus Holy Rosary. The Raiders have not allowed a point in three games. Should be a good one. 7 p.m. kickoff at Holy Rosary. Meanwhile, the Raiders are at home. The Lloyd Comp Barons are on the road in Bonneville, taking on the Bonneville Voyagers. That one also starting later tonight.